Hello everyone. On this video, you will learn how to run an executable or an exe from your ASP.NET web API. Let's get started. So before we start today, I just want to show you that I already created our exe that we're going to be testing with. The exe is pretty straightforward. All you do, once you run it, you write a date to a log file. That's pretty much it, just to show that our program works. So first step is we're going to create a new project. It's going to be ASP.NET application. Now let's call it Web API Test Console. Go ahead and create. Pick Web API. First thing we're going to do is create a new controller. Click Add in Controller. And then you can pick whatever here. And then just do Test Controller. Click Add. And in here, we're going to use API Controller. You see it's going to complain about that. Just go ahead and hover it. And go ahead and click API Controller using systemweb.net. All right, so here, all we're going to do is create a function void and a get with the string ID. All right, let's create an R function that's going to run our exe. So let's go private void run executable. So let's put a string arguments as a parameter. Arguments. So first thing we're going to do is to get the file name. In order to get the file name, all right, before we do this, before getting the file name, let's go ahead and add, I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Let's go ahead and add our exe to our content folder on our API. So all I'm gonna do is drop, drag and drop, and that's it. That's all I'm doing here. So let's get the file. Now let's get the file name. And in order to do that, we're gonna use HTTP contacts dot current dot server dot map path. So this is basically going to map the location of our project. And we're going to do content and then the name of our application, which is this. that's going to find this exe file here in the content folder of our application. And the next time, next thing we're going to do is going to start a process. It's not process info, it's process, process equals new process. And if it complains, if you just do complaints about it, just hover it and go ahead and use, use using system dot diagnostics. Go ahead and click on it. Now, here's the first thing we're going to do is p.process.start info, oops, start info dot redirect standard output. And let's set that to true. And then process.start info dot use, oops, you shall execute. Just go ahead and set that to false. Once again, process dot start info, start info dot create no window. So this basically it's not gonna have your command prompt from your console app. It's just gonna hide everything. Next one is start window is process dot start info uh, file name. Now file name is gonna be our file name, and this is really important. Oh, actually, you know what? No, this is now it's arguments. Let's go ahead and set up the argument. Now this is really important here. It's going to be start info. You got to make sure to specify what is the working directory directory of your exe. Basically, where your exe is, so it runs from there. Let's go ahead and grab that. And my exe is located here. And the last step is going to be you're going to start the process you're going to start the process and you want to wait for it to finish that's basically it let's go ahead and let's go ahead and call this here and pass in the id there's no return here right so just there you go 
First line here, it's pretty much getting the file information, the file name, the file path that is on a content folder in our project. Then you, you just instate a, a new process. You set the redirect standard output. You, you shall execute set to false. Create no window set to true. You pass in the file name as a file name, which is going to be the path of your file. You pass in the arguments, if any. If there's no arguments, you can just comment this out. And last item, which is one of the most important, you got to make sure to set a working directory from where your executable is running from. So you can write to a file and we can very validate the information we entered. Okay, let's go ahead and run this. I'm going to put a breakpoint here. Let's make it bigger. All right, let's go ahead on uh, API test. Let's pass in one, two, three, one, two, three. Hit enter. All right, so it looks like it's, it's hitting that. Let's get the file name first. Here's the file name. As you guys can see, it's the entire path of my project, my content folder of my project. And all this, you don't have to worry about. So file name gets set here. And then arguments, it's gonna be it's gonna be the one, two, three, one, two, three. Now the working director, like I said, it's really important that you set this. Once you set it, start, wait for it to end, and that's pretty much it. So how do we know it's worked, or how do you know it worked? Let's go ahead and go to our solution explorer. You see our content folder, this folder here, go ahead and right click on it, open file explorer, and there should be a log text file that I, that it's creating every time you run it, you go ahead and run it and then you see it's right there. Let's run one more time. So now it's gonna be four, five, four, five, and let's go ahead and enter it, run it. Now let's open up our path again. Let's go ahead and right click here, open up our path, log file, and you guys are gonna see four, five, four, five. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, I'll be dropping this code uh, on the link below. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.